Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. For this one we're going to be playing on the European server. I've been enjoying myself here. The lag is a little bit higher, but the blind counters are significantly lower. I was wondering to myself for a while whether I was just going full of velo, thinking that so many people on NA were blind countering me. It's like maybe I'm just making up excuses for being outplayed. Then I start playing on Europe, which is supposed to be a more difficult server, and I'm under heavier lag, and I'm playing at a higher MMR, not enough and I'm, I'm not getting that feeling at all that anyone's actually countering what I'm up to. Not Anyways, we have a random so going to scout early and try to get an idea of what we're up against here. As all my builds have already diverged at this point, even the first depot placement. <laughs> it's pretty important on um, uh, versus Protoss to be on the outside wall. Additional supply depots required. Our SUVs are under attack. Okay. Not enough minerals. Bird, I didn't see him Not crossing the map. Okay, so we need engineering bay now. And the factory. Gas rains on the way. Ah, thought I just started that SCV. Should I let it finish? But, anyways, planetary. Important in case he runs by the bunker. Insufficient vesting gas. Command center upgrade complete. Planetary is done, so we'll get rid of this bunker. One base. Yeah. 
Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Bear is killing me. Too much. Sage tank. But I'm gonna have three ravens soon, but I think the three will just help a little bit. Okay.
Okay. Our SCVs are under attack. We could use some help here. I think I probably should have been attacking during this time. You can catch him out of position here. Doesn't have that base. figure out which base he was attacking there. <coughs> it's like the last command center I uh, 
Rally Duct. Like, this is the forward base, and this is the closest base. I figured he'd go into here. And if he's gonna bypass it, then he's probably gonna go for my production and go up here. But instead he came bypassed and went to this base. I think he saw this planetary, decided to go for my production, scanned, saw a bunch of widow mines, and then detoured over here instead. That's my guess. Uh, I think we got him on two bases, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> he didn't have this one, and we killed these two. I think that was it for him. So many of these widow mines went off. Even the ones that have zero kills might have gone off. Because the widow mine doesn't kill a marauder or a medevac in one hit. Or a siege tank for that matter. Was he even making marauders? It's like just basic marine tank. What of mine is 100 or 125? I can't remember. 125. Yeah, so there's a tank. 50 hit points. Medvax left with 25. Vikings left with 10. Let's see how the game started. Because he did have that uh, pretty serious pressure on me. So here's a little known fact. If you look at the resource loss tab, the amount you spend on repair, like if you ask, is it showing up in the resource loss or not? The answer is kind of yes and no. Um, you can see as I'm taking this damage, it's not showing up. But if he ever kills this planetary, my resources loss won't go up by the 600 I spent on it. It'll go up by 600 plus all the repair money I put into it. So I'm guessing I put maybe 1,500 resources into repairing this. Every 1,500 hit points I repair will cost me 150 resources overall. So it's one quarter of the total cost. And it'll be three quarters minerals, one quarter of gas. So how much do you think I repaired? Probably at least 5,000, I would guess. Probably a lot more than that, actually. <laughs> Probably over 10,000 hit points. I guess it is just siege tanks, but it's like nine SCVs repairing just to keep it break even. I've actually got the burn going on right now. Yeah, SCV at least took it out of the burn. He is just making his natural though. 23 workers, he was very all in with this. Miscook on that marine was actually totally worth it. So it got three siege tank shots, I think. And it did put one tank into the yellow. And he had no buffer, and his siege tanks didn't change targets, so my auto turrets are actually... Three auto turrets able to kill four siege tanks there. Which is uh, pretty awesome. Two of them were slightly injured. And I guess the game's already kind of over. He doesn't know about my extra base. base is under attack. But we're way ahead on worker count. Uh, he's continuing to make army.
not really pushing the double command center or anything like that. I guess his plan was a second all in here with the Metavax, but uh, it seems destined to fail. I believe he lost nothing though, which makes me sad. Can't use PDD to get in anymore. Maybe he lost the Raven? Full energy Raven too. Now, everything, we didn't empty any medivacs, put it that way. They all survived. I was going to put a large push, but he's only got plus one on his marines, so his marines are going to do next to no damage. Unseed siege tanks do a lot of damage, but just three of them against the planetary with repair. Yeah, so plus one marine only does seven damage, and the damage gets reduced by five, because I got an upgraded planetary. So, two. With plus two, he gets an extra 50% damage, right? Because two goes up to three. That's why the upgrades are so important on the Marines for them to be useful or useless. Once they get to plus three, they actually, their damage actually starts to make an impact. Four damage a hit with Stim against a planetary. I mean, obviously, it's a terrible unit versus planetaries, but at least it's doing something at that point. It's like 8 damage a second for each marine. Still well ahead in the worker lead. He hasn't even hit 50 yet, and we're 14 minutes into the game. If you play a random player, you should be suspect you're going to be facing cheese much more often. Random is by far the hardest race to play because you have to master nine matchups, where the rest of us only have to master three. Uh, which means they're probably not going to master nine matchups. They'll have some matchups that they're good and comfortable with. And other ones that are just going to say, I don't know how to play this, so I'm just going to do some cheese, because that simplifies the matchup greatly. And that's why I think you'll face cheese far more often from a random player. This is the must-win-the-game push. I guess he saw some widow mines maybe. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.